So how does a buyer's agent get paid? Chase Craig here with Own Boise and Keller Williams Realty Boise, and uh, we actually run into this issue a lot. A lot of home buyers out there actually have no idea how their agent or an agent who would work for them gets compensated. In fact, we even see that some of these buyers avoid hiring an agent like the plague because they're afraid they're going to have to pay them money. So they think they're going to save money going directly to whoever's listing the house. Well, two issues with that. You don't save any money. And the second issue is now you're working for the person who's already representing the seller or you're working with the person already representing the seller. So who's looking out for your best interest? Here's the last issue. You've got to go from agent to agent to agent to agent until you find the right house. The average home buyer looks at about six or seven houses before they make a buying decision. So that's six or seven listing agents you have to talk to. Convince them to work with you. Convince them that you are real and you can buy a house all for what? To save money that you probably aren't even actually saving. So I'm here to dispel the myth. Here's how buyer's agents get paid. Buyer's agents get paid upon the successful closing of the transaction. Typically, not always, but typically by the seller. So 95% of the time when we're working with a buyer, the seller actually pays our commission. So when you go work directly with that listing agent, the listing agent just makes twice as much money and they don't represent you necessarily as well as a buyer's agent could. And by the way, buyer's agents can really help you by finding homes that maybe aren't even on the market yet. You know, if you're just look, waiting for a home to come on Zillow or realtor.com or looking for a sign in the order for sale by owner, you might be missing out on a lot of properties that get sold before they ever even hit the market. And that's what hiring a great buyer's agent can do. Now, like I said, you don't know exactly how they're gonna get paid. And I said, typically the seller pays that commission for them. This is why we meet and do a buyer consultation. All of our clients that own Boise sign an agreement with us. We commit to them to represent them. We also commit to them on how we're gonna be compensated and for us, it's always on the successful close of the transaction. The other thing we do is we make sure that you know up front if you would ever have to pay us directly for anything. I, I honestly can't even remember a time we've had a client pay us directly for our services on a buyer side. Um, so uh, some examples where that might happen is if you go out and look at a for sale by owner and maybe there wasn't a pre-negotiated commission. Now, if you're working with an own Boise agent, we're going to go out of our way to talk to that for sale by owner and make sure they're willing to pay our commission so you don't have to. That's what hiring a great buyer agent looks like. And I hope this has helped dispel some of the myths and rumors out there on, on how buyer's agents get paid. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us directly. I hope you enjoyed this video and feel free to like and comment. Thanks.